The Exploration and Space Communications Projects Division is the critical link between the orbiting satellites and the scientists on the ground. We provide that glue that provides the data instantaneously. The Exploration and Space Communications Projects Division is the NASA organization responsible for maintaining, operating, and sustaining two of NASA's key communications networks. One, a space-based relay network, the Space Network. The other, a ground-based network, the Near Earth Network. The Space Network provides a critical communications link between low Earth orbiting satellites in the ground, including a link to the space station, to the space shuttle when it's orbiting, the Hubble Space Telescope, and to lots of other Earth and space sciences missions. Where their data is transmitted through our satellite to our ground system at White Sands, and then from there, White Sands has ways to communicate to the user control center for that system wherever they are. So they provide constant coverage so that whether it's a crewman on the space station that needs to talk to the ground or it's the Hubble Space Telescope that needs to send down a beautiful picture of a nebula, they can get that data to the ground. That comes through the Space Network. The TDRS project is the Tracking and Data Relay Satellite Project is responsible for building the new series of uh, satellites that will be used for the Space Network to communicate with satellites in low Earth orbit. So we've got nine spacecraft on orbit today. Uh, many of those are, are in service. Some of those are spares and we're also in the middle of working with Boeing to build two more spacecraft. So we'll launch those when those are ready to launch between 2012 and 2013. And this new series that we'll be launching here in the next few years will bring on more capacity, more capability. The Space Network ground segment is basically the control center for the TDRS constellation. The operations team uses the ground segment to maintain the health and safety of the spacecraft as well as conduct the daily operations. My project is charged with implementing an upgrade. What we're doing is we're looking at a new architecture, new computer system set up, the new electronics to make it easier for the operations team to operate the spacecraft, to make it easier for, for new customers to interact with the space network, and also make it uh, less costly on NASA to maintain and operate those systems. For some missions, sending data to the ground through the Near Earth Network is the better solution. Mostly, these are satellites that are orbiting over the North and South Pole, and mostly these are satellites that are monitoring the Earth's environment. If you have the, the onboard storage such that you can collect all your science data through your orbit, then you come over a ground station and you just uh, send it all down to the ground in, in one pass. The Near Earth Network has over 30 antennas located over a dozen places from the Arctic Circle to Antarctica. We combine commercially operated and NASA-owned stations to provide reliable network services to dozens of customers from Earth orbit to the moon. The Near Earth Network is developing the ability to support data rates above a gigabit per second, enabling higher data rate communication in both X-band and KA-band. Combining these higher data rates with advanced autonomous file transfer protocols will enable extremely high volumes, high resolution science data to be captured daily. The ESC operates another network for orbit prediction through satellite laser ranging. This network uses beams of light to precisely determine satellite orbits. In the future, these beams of light will carry embedded data at very high rates over very long distances. Our first foray into this is through the Lunar Laser Communication Demonstration, better known as LLCD. LLCD is NASA's first step in developing high-performance laser communication systems that are compact enough for flight missions. LLCD will use beams of light to download data at a rate of over 600 megabits per second from the moon. That is fast enough to download an entire music album in under two seconds from a distance of 250,000 miles away. The, the Networks Integration Management Office is our customer touch point. This is where customers come in, whether they're other government agencies, international partners, 
and they tell us what they need. We work out the requirements for them. Maybe they need special communications for their launch aspect. Uh, maybe they need, once they get on orbit, they need some special downlink data um, to do some quick analysis. So we get requirements from them. Um, we put together what we would have would be our support to their particular needs, and we provide that support. We have a, a very robust office to provide whatever communication support they need, and it can be done around the clock and on a moment's notice. When it comes to the Exploration and Space Communications Group, the bottom line for us is advanced communications for mission success.